album and gatefold card kit. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 510702 for £49.99 plus your postage from hochanda.com or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. The second kit is 972116 Club G45 Le Romantic Interactive Front Flip Card Kit. You'll get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to a comprehensive step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 972116 for £34.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com. Or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, but this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Right, Miss Haley. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. Yes. Well, I just spotted this X, you see, so I've been standing on it. X marks the spot. There you go. She's trying to cover it up. But now we can all see it so I clearly. So I made it worse. Yeah, I love yes. it. How Hi, are well. you, anyway? I'm fine, thanks. This is a nice one-day special. It is. It's mm. very, very cute. So yes. within the one-day special, you are getting your uh, multi mat, and you've got a choice of different finishes on that. Right. So you've got, it says floral. But it's got that kind of neighbourhoody feel. It does, feel. doesn't it? It's quite quirky too. You have a grey spotty option. Spotty spotty. You have the most popular, which is the owl option. Mm -hmm. And then you also have this blue canvas option, which has got that little bit more of a hard wearing fabric on it, a little bit more oh. texture to it as well. Okay. So I will pop those back. But you are also getting, uh -huh. for randomly, um, a penny less than the, the ironing pad. Right. For a penny less than that, which sounds odd. Okay. You're getting the iron as well. Oh, that's amazing. I know. Wow. So I think somebody's made a mistake, but they've all gone home now. So that doesn't so matter. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> you get it. It's tough. So you basically, get it. you're not paying for the iron, no, which is you're excellent. Not paying for the iron. You're giving us a penny less than we wanted in the first place <laughs> and getting an iron. Amazing. <laughs> and that's it... got to be wrong. No, no, well, <laughs> hey, you, you win at home, basically. So what you're getting is you're getting a pausable iron. That I, the handle folds flat and it's not in the way of that cable at all. So it's. Um, it's a really good it's kind of selling point because that means that when you travel with it, that is protected. And if an iron's going to go, yeah, it's the usually the You're cable right. that right. goes. Mm. So that's a really good point of kind of protection for it. The handle just snaps up into place, and then it locks, and it's good to go to get the handle down. Just press that at the back, and it will fold Clever. back down. So this is a dry iron. Now by dry iron. That means there is no steam. Yes. And that's a really important thing for when you're working with things that need to be heat sealed. Mm. So things like the pens that we've used mustn't before. Mustn't have heat with that, um, steam with that. Mustn't have steam with it, that's right. Uh, any um, applique stuff, so any of the adhesives that yep. you use with fabric, they're much better with the dry iron as well. Right. And we're going to use it for lots of different things as we go through. I used it on some heat fix vinyl mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of different projects that use this type of iron throughout right. the next five Four hours now left. Yes. I know you've had, you've you've No, I'm fine. Let's crack on. No, all right, right, right. So twenty four ninety eight, twenty four ninety eight. Um you're saving twenty pounds. You choose which fine. mats you would like. Eight two nine six. I haven't five, showed six. you what the mats do. Oh, can you show me then? Yes, I'm sorry. I can. I'm so sorry. Okay. So within the mat you have got on ah. the inside you have got it's an almost A four sized 
cutting mat. So you can use that with your rotary cutters. Mm -hmm. You've also got your 60 inch and your 45 inch markings on there for your um, patchwork as well. Nice. On this side, you've got a grippy sheet. It's grippy. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's got like, yeah. a, it's almost like a glass paper. Ooh. kind of texture to yeah. it. So if you've got little bits of fabric that you haven't used yet but you want to keep a hold of, mm. then you can put them on there and they will grip and you can f cover it over with that suede piece there. Yeah. That suede piece means that you can, or it's a suede effect piece, yeah. you can um, kind of plan your bits and pieces out and it's a nice oh. grippy surface for you to plan things out Lovely. on. Turning it over, yeah. both sides of this are padded which means that you've essentially got an ironing board mm -hmm. as well and you Very can good. iron with it all out like that so it's about a three sized or you can fold it in half and just do the small bits on on one side or the other it's clever. so it's quite a versatile little kind of board in yeah. the first place nice portable but then on top of that when you put the iron in mm -hmm. with the mix it's amazing value for it money is, because isn't it? you're essentially getting a free iron and we're giving you a penny back. <laughs> I like That's that. That's what's happening. That's what's <laughs> happening. Um, I've, have we, I believe we've got some stock updates. Lovely. Oh, okay. So the floral, 30% of the stock's gone there. Nice. The grey spot, a quarter has gone. Okay. Thank you, Hayley. It's all right. I'm on it. Owls, over 40% gone. We like... <laughs> <laughs> Always popular. Yeah. And then the blue one, I think there's plenty of that one. Yeah. But um, it is a really, it's a much um, thicker fabric on there. So yeah. if you're going to be using it an awful lot, then the blue one is, the, uh, is a good one to go for because it's got a bit of a, a harder wearing yeah. fabric on. Uh, the owls, yeah, though. We all oh, love the owls. they're always in the lead. Yeah. Don't you like owls? I like the spotty one best. Oh, the grey spotty one is, is, was mine and, and Paula's pick on oh, that one. Oh, I'm going followed, owls, sorry. Followed by this one. I know, I like the oh, owls okay, as well. like it. Uh, £24.98, <laughs> 20 pounds off. Amazing deal. 829656. Then we have our rotary cutter. Okay, Ooh. so this is a 45mm rotary cutter. It does come with spare blades in there as well. Da -da. Oh, good. So you've got a spare one for when that first one, you know, once you've done quite a lot of cutting, yeah. it does eventually start to, to go a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it's also got a safety lock on there as well, so it will be completely safe when you leave it. You can lock that guard so it doesn't ping back and hurt anybody if you've left it down in a in a drawer. Very good. Um, and it is got a, it's got a nice kind of ergonomic handle. Yeah, I was as thinking well. that. Yeah, thinking and that. And it sits once it's out of the packet. It kind of as you can see there. It sits upright. Oh yeah. So it's got a nice wide guard on the bottom there. Right. And it sits upright, so it's ready to ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Yes. Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight five one three five one. Right, we've got some templates. templates. Now, we've been using these in the previous album. We're going to use them again in this one. And one thing I do need to correct is it says that they're all four-piece sets. Uh, I've checked on the packaging because I thought I'd lost a star. The star only has three, so I do need to make that clear. Oh, OK. Um, but they are bigger templates than the other ones, so I can right. probably see why, why that's the case. So you've got circles, you've got hearts, and you've got stars, and you've got uh, four in the circles, four in the hearts. Yeah and then three in the stars. So you're going to be using these so I can see what you do with them? Yes, yes we will. Lovely. <laughs> uh, so we've got those three options as Hayley said for 14 99 Item number is 148646. Uh, then we've got some more templates. We have got some more templates. These are these sets of eight and right. you've got your mini squares. Mini mini. So you've got from really really tiny so three quarters of an inch. Now, the way that these work is all of them have got their size. That was not really easy one to see because there's so many of these. Um, I'll do it on one of the ones that are broken down. So if you want to, could you possibly do the numbers for those? Of and then I'll explain I on the next one. Okay, yes. Okay. 14 pounds and 99 pence. 945639. There you go. Hide it, look. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, they fall off there, that's why. Okay. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got this one where we can actually see against a, um, a black background. Right. I can show you this one a little bit better. So what you have is you have the, the template itself. Yes. And then it's got, if I just put my finger there, oh, yeah. you've got a three inch diamond. Now that three inch diamond, there's little arrows on there if I follow it along. Mm -hmm. And it's showing you corner to corner where those uh, little holes are. That's your three inch diamond. And then if I put my finger under this bit, 
you can see there's a quarter of an inch mm. seam allowance built around the outside. Cool. So that gives you your full size with your quarter inch seam allowance. So if you want a paper piece, yes. this is perfect because you just draw your four dots, join them up, and that's your diamond. Wonderful. And then you use this to cut out your um, fabric. So you've got them either to use for paper piecing mm -hmm. or you've got them to use for um, if you're appliquing or if you're doing other kind of work and sewing bits together. Oh, very nice. Okay, fourteen ninety nine for all those. Eight four six four five six. Then we've got another and one. The, we've got hexagons as well. Now all of these sets come with uh, little holes in, and usually they come with a little tag here as well, which you can thread through all of them, and then link back up so you can keep them all together. As well, obviously, we've separated these out so you can see how many that you get. Yeah. But you can link them all back together and keep them linked as a as an easy kit. Yay! There you go. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight eight two six six six. Okay, so we haven't come to these in the last hour, and these are ones I'm going to do tomorrow morning uh, as another way you can use your mat because um, these are bias tape makers. So you can use them just to make a normal binding. Yes. Or you can cut your fabric on the bias and create a bias tape with these as well. So it's something that's a little bit more involved in terms of uh, a demonstration. So we're going to save this one till tomorrow morning. Right. Um, and use it on the cutting board as well. Okay. And then. I'll let you, sorry, no, I'll that's let all you right. do your numbers. Oh, no, I keep forgetting, I get excited. All right. It's the all important bit, the numbers. Yeah, the numbers. 999 Can I do the next one now? Yes, you can. Okay, so this is an amazing bundle as well. It doesn't look that exciting, but it is, because it is five sticks of basting glue. So basting glue is essentially kind of tacking, tacking in a stick is right. what you've got here. Tacking in a so stick. So it's a temporary glue, it's a non-toxic glue pen, and mm -hmm. it's temporary. So you can put it on, and it will wash out, mm -hmm. and it's repositional for up to six minutes. Oh, there you there go. You go. That's what so it, it is, says. It's, it's just what you would do instead of tacking. So it's great for putting zips and things in, right? Because it means you haven't got pins in there, and you haven't got the pins distorting the fabric. Mm. Or if you just wanted to hold something in place for a couple of minutes while you sew around it, it's absolutely perfect for that. And you're getting five included in this bundle. Marvelous. Nineteen ninety nine three seven three. Seven four zero. Um, now, um, wh what we've got at Hachanda is the opportunity to open up a flexi order basket, oh, but I won't it? tell you about oh, it. Oh, I, I would love you to link to you. That would be amazing. They won't let us do it anymore. Why? I don't. Well, I suppose it does Here's look me. a bit weird. With some stuff. I know. Here's. A, I used to say that. Here's me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I know. Uh, <laughs> however, it's not that video. <laughs> it's the one with Leone. Here we go. <laughs> Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. <laughs> um, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, well, what we've uh, been doing over over the last hour, and what we're going to continue to do over all of the hours for the one-day special, is um, one of the the main things you would use this board for, and this type of iron for, yeah. is a plique. Right. So we are going to gradually build up and up and up using the heart and the star templates, mm. the ones where you get three stars, ta -da, and you get four hearts, also ta da. Um, <laughs> We're going to build up, up and up and up a design. So what we're using fabric-wise is we've got the plain kind of coral colour from the 10 Fat Quarters Lazy Days pack, which is situated this one. to your right. That's the one. This one. Maybe the first one you had. This That's one. it. Oh, this is nice. So this is the Lazy Days option. Now, Ooh. there are 10 Fat Quarters. I've taken out that coral one. Oh, you, that you we'll go it. with. Yes, okay. that's all enough. Um, <laughs> and we're using it within the demonstration. But then there's also a second Lazy Days pack, yeah. um, which has got five fat quarters in, which is this one, which oh, I sorry. am absolutely butchering. 
because <laughs> chewing, that's a lovely word. <laughs> I'm absolutely devastating it because we are cutting bits off everything to put within this project. Marvellous. So because they all kind of work from the same family and the same colour set, they all work really, really well together. Mm. So we started off um, earlier on, we put one of the larger stars in and then have put some of the, the smaller hearts in. Yeah. I'm going to come back in now and add this next layer of stars. So I'm going to iron those down and then I'm going to show you how I made the stars. Because if I show you this one, yeah. if you have a look at that one, you can see it's a, a slightly bigger star than the ones that I've got. And you can see those little holes around there. Yeah. I can show you how you can make different sizes yes, and bigger please. and smaller ones Amazing. from that. So first of all, we'll get these uh, lined up mm -hmm. and pressed down. So just got to take the backs off. Okay. Give it a little wiggle. Gee, I was going to say, do you use a needle? Well, I do. I'll just give a little wiggle to, to kind of create a gap first. Ah, uh, yeah. And then I'll, I'll go in with just a, uh, either a pin or a little seam ripper or something just to start it off. Yeah. There you go. How's Big Neil? Big Neil's fine, thanks. <laughs> Charlotte just went, who's Big Neil? <laughs> well, Charlotte didn't come on the adventure. No. There was uh, about, well, it's got to be two or three years it ago is. now. Yeah. We all there went up to New Newcastle. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. And we had to look round where you, where your... Yes, you is. came down to pots and pancakes, yes. didn't you? And you painted some pots. We did. All painted some mugs. It was all good. And then, uh, yeah, we did loads of stuff. What a lovely little time. <laughs> you were disgusted because I was eating those sea snails. Oh, whelks. She was eating whelks. Oh, dear me. I mean, I, I love seafood, yeah. but I have to draw the line there. Okay. I have to draw the line there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is really bugging Charlotte now. We <laughs> think, Neil. I'll find, I'll find you some pictures later. He's Ian big. tomorrow. As in, when you, when you okay. stand, stand next to him. Yeah, yeah. I'll find it. I've, I've got a picture on my phone somewhere where I'm standing next to him and we just look ridiculous. Mm. So I shall find it tomorrow and I shall give it to Charlotte to put so everybody can share in our nonsense. Big Neil works with Hayley. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> that was really bugging Charlotte. <laughs> okay. I'm just lining these up because I'm mm -hmm. just talking. They don't have to be spot on, but they have to kind of... Uh, I would rather do this kind of by eye because if you try to measure oh, yeah. each distance accurately you you'll drive yourself potty yeah so um i'm just kind of lining these up kind of by eye and i'm going to get those first three down first because i'm happy with them just want to bring that one in a little tiny bit happy with those three so i'll put those in and then i'll do the other two because i've only got half the board here and the low everything will fit yeah uh, I think those are just a little too close to the edge, so I'd rather get these stuck down okay, and then just move it across a bit. But if I'd opened the board fully, mm -hmm. there would have been enough space to do it all in one go nice. there. So the iron's already on. I've got it set up to the kind of cotton and linen temperature. Lovely. And this uh, type of work where you're using the fusible webbing is exactly why and how you would use this iron. Lovely. Because it's got a really nice hot heat, really nice direct heat as well. I mean, that's well. quick, that getting it stuck down yeah it is it's a really nice and hot one and it, you can adjust the temperature yeah so you can if you're working with slightly more delicate fabrics which we're going to in a little while mm -hmm. if you're working with your polyesters and things you still absolutely can use this yep. you can just turn it down so I need to just undo these last two I'm going to shuffle that along a little bit yep and then do these last two it's a lovely coral that isn't it it is yeah. it is we picked this one because there's a lot of those coral colors running through the the other ones and mm, it's a really blues. nice kind of contrast for all the blues yeah I'd say it's it's probably almost opposite on the color wheel because that's a, a turquoisey blue that's got a bit more green in mm. and then this is more of a, a, a kind of ready orangey yeah coral so that's why they kind of work so well together nice so we'll pop that one in about there mm -hmm. and that one in about there and then what we'll keep doing is we'll keep throughout the, yeah. the hours, keep cutting and adding on and adding on. Now, nice with the fusible webbing, um, in theory, you can just leave it as it is and it will it will stay. Okay. I would always recommend sewing it okay. on. So you can either then run around with a little running stitch. You could maybe use a blanket stitch zigzag. on your machine. You could zigzag stitch it. You could satin stitch it. You could okay. hand stitch it. Yep. There are plenty of different ways to get it on. All nice. the fusible webbing and the iron is doing is basically holding it in place for you while you decide yeah. what you're going to do with it. Nice. Let me just get that on and that one. 
and then we can show you a couple of other bits that the board can yeah, do. Yeah, that so would be nice. You can just get that. So that's all secure. Yep. It's and a lovely we can little now pattern. keep building this up and keep building this up over the next couple of hours. Very nice. Um, so back to the board. Right. This is the bit I want to show you because I have cut out a few extra bits that I'm not ready to use yet. Okay. So you can store them in here. Now, with the paper on the back, they can still be a little bit slippy. So if you turn them over okay. so that the fabric is against that bit. It's got a tooth, hasn't it? Yes, it's almost like a... Like, sandpaper. Like, yeah, almost. Yeah. It's almost like a sandpaper. Yeah. And what that will do is it should grip those. Yeah. See if I can get it right the way up. Hey. There you go. That's It'll good. hang on to them for you. Yeah. And especially when you've got that little weight of the... Um, the kind of other, I'm oh, doing it again, look, <laughs> the other fabric on the top, yeah. then that will hold those in place for you. Ah. Just give it a little press down. Yeah. And then you've got them, when you're ready, they're there, and you can use them to continue your project. Very so good. it's a really good way of kind of cutting bits out of scraps mm. that Not you want to them. use, yeah, that you don't want to use straight away. Yeah. So, uh, oh, cutting mat. We haven't done cutting mat. Mm -hmm. So this side here, this is to be able to kind of lay out bits and pieces because it's got a suede side to it. It has that like a little bit of grip to it. It has that little bit of hold to it. So you can plan pieces out onto here. You've got the cutting mat. Now, in official measurements, you've got 11 inches by 8 inches yeah. or 17 by 25 centimetres. Now, the centimetre measurements come a good way in from the edge. Mm -hmm. So I would say you're almost A4 by the time right. you get kind of right to the, the edges. You Lovely. won't be that far off. Yeah. Um, so you've got a nice size cutting mat there, obviously for use with your rotary cutters. I had one, I put it somewhere safe. What, the rotary cutter? Yes, I had one the do same want, as that one. Do you want one, one off the pack shot? <gasps> uh, Is it under there anywhere? I'll find it later. Oh. It's alright. I did have it ready because I got it out of the packet mm. and then I've lost it. But that happens on a regular basis. It does. It that does. happens. Ah! Ah, look. Wow. What am I looking at? There you go. So, I've just kind of put this out so you can see. It gives me exact sizes and things. So it's a self-healing cutting mat, and it's got both uh, one inch and it's got uh, centimetres on there as well. So you can use that with your rulers. Oh, OK, that's cool. That's the layout sheet that we were talking about with mm -hmm. the anti-skid backing on it. So you can plan everything out, and that's on the cloth bit that covers the back. You've got a sandpaper mat, which is um, excellent for stopping the fabric moving. If you, uh, well, it's, we've got it just holding bits of fabric in there, but in here it's actually saying if you're wanting to mark lines on fabric okay. without it slipping. Right. So that's a, another option. And then you've got your double-sided ironing mat as well. So you've got two different... <laughs> sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. They're going tilted forward, tilted forward. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But it shows you there those that kind of four functions quite clearly, because I know we're running through things, yeah. but I'm kind of jumping back and forth between them. So I thought it was quite nice just to have a look yeah. at the back of the packet and show you those, more precisely, those four functions. There so I shall go. give that to you. Thank you. Um, How are we doing, Ben? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of this one, um, but don't lose this one because it's got all my bits in. Oh. I'm going to give that to you. Okay. And I'm going to get this one because this is the one we were working on earlier. So this one we've started out and um, we're doing a, a snippet technique on here. So the background, the, the light pink fabric that we've got, that is um, just a plain pink cotton and then over the top of it you can see there's a, just a slight sheen on it now. Yeah, I like that. What's that? And that's just a big piece of uh, fusible webbing. Oh, right, okay. So now this whole thing is, is sticky. Right. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to use up all of the um, bits and pieces, all of the scraps, yes. into this project okay. and then top it with organza. I've got a little piece here. Oh, nice. Top it with organza. And you Ooh. want to use something quite light, so a silver or a cream, and what that will do is it will a hold all those little bits in place because yep. you've got sticky all of the bottom and b it gives a nice flat top to it so then you can go in with things like your um uh free motion right or your hand stitching yeah. and add much more depth to it so 
we've been putting fabric on there another thing that works really well for this is actually just adding thread oh do i want Very that pink and, oh my god the pink and black one pink and black that's dramatic i know let me have a little look do you think that will work yeah of course will oh, i like variegated oh thanks did you fix it we just got it out of the packet oh it's got the safety on has it has it got the blade in yeah oh that's fine <laughs> Mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. So there's a safety release there. Now you can either keep that permanently open yep. or push the safety in. That pushes the uh, safety out. Yeah. And that's that little stand that we we're talking about. So it's already, it's Good always it. kind of standing up and ready, ready for action. So it's always standing up and ready to go. Nice. And to get it to go, you just press the trigger. Ah. Or if you want to keep it over permanently, maybe doing a lot of cutting, yeah. then you can push that in. And then as soon as you push the button that pops through on the other side, yep, that, that will release and, and set itself back Clever. up. So we'll keep that for later. Okay. We'll keep that for later. We're just going to keep building this up now. Okay. So you can, um, you can use all sorts on here. So you can use... Uh, oh, let's have some pink thread in as well. Can you undo that one for I me? I will. Are you Thanks. doing like a mixed media -y piece? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly cool. what we're doing. And that's where this iron comes into its own. Because when you're using things with adhesives, mm. you need that dry heat. Yeah. Uh, something that's got steam isn't going to work because the water in the steam is going to interfere with how the adhesive works. Mm. And you need a dry heat for this to work properly. Yeah. So I'm going to add some of this on. We need some more colours in here as well. So, do you want to join in? Sure. What okay. am I doing? What am I doing? Well, let's find some bits for you to snip up. I've cut out a few of these. I had a little bit of, uh, um, this is a, a polyester lace called okay. chemical lace, this one. Um, and I've added a few bits and pieces to this as well. And these you could colour with alcohol markers as well. And I would actually put those on the top rather than inside because I think they're going to get a bit lost because they're a light colour. Yeah. And there's a light colour. Um, Organs are going to go over the top. Yes. So they're going to get a bit lost. I'm going to save them till later. But we are essentially doing a mixed media piece with fabric. Oh. Let me, I'm trying, I had a load here ready for you. What Everything's gone them? missing. I know. Well, I had, I had everything in the drawer. Else? I don't know. Did you take it to the green room? I've probably won. I have a, do have a habit of wandering off. Hmm. Um, oh look, there's some bits. There's some bits in here that we can use from it's the out other. Of the bin. <laughs> out of the bin. Well, that's exactly what this kind of um, project yeah. is brilliant for. Yeah. And all of the colours that are in here are absolutely perfect. I mean, there's there's plenty of the beautiful Tilda fabric here, mm. but it's a bit too beautiful yes. to put in here. So what I'm looking for are the bits that are the, the scraps, the bits that I'm trying to oh. get rid of, the bits that I'm trying to use up. So you can either fussy cut shapes out, yeah. or you can just put your own kind of random little snipped shapes in there. Mm. And with this one, I'm trying to go from a lighter end up here oh. down to a darker end. That's why I've got a lot more bits and pieces I down see. here. Yeah. And we're just going to snip bits in. We can take... Uh, flowers out yeah. we can take um you know specific bits out or we can just have it as a more general blue shape but all of the bits that are the background that i'm kind of cutting out of this at the minute i can put back in and kind of the darker the better yeah because you're going to put a light thing over the top <laughs> i love this it's so <laughs> now you're thinking initially that's ridiculous because it's so tiny but I'm going to take it off you. Now it does collapse down, oh, so if you cute. do want to, st if that's too big, <laughs> you can store it even smaller. See, I think that's a doll designing board. It is not a doll designing oh. board, and it is not for my clothes either, which has also been said today. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> that is that is quite okay. Funny. So right. what it is for though is especially if you're uh, you're doing little pieces of uh, quilting yeah. or you're doing dressmaking. Because if you're doing dressmaking, you're trying to get round a shoulder. Oh. You're trying to get into a, a sleeve. You're right. trying to get into a collar. Then this is a, a great way to do it. So it is a oh. kind of a uh, one of those kind of non-stick, heat reflecting coverings. Right. And it's for dolls. And it's not for dolls. <laughs> that is nine ninety nine, and we're thirty percent of well, the stock gone. Well, there must be gone. a lot of people making dolls' clothes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's just because I keep... Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> you're all just taking the mic. No, I just really like it. Uh, 656128 is your item number. <laughs> So we're going to keep snipping and adding. Do you know what? I'm going to get you a pair of scissors as well. You can join in. <coughs> okay. Here's a small pair for you too. Mm. Now just watch that iron because it is on. Okay. And then we're just wanting to kind of cover this. Shall I do the flowers? In a myriad. Would do you want me to? I've got some flowers ready to go. Oh, you've already um, done them. I want some more colours in. So have that. Just little snips. Just little tiny snips okay. and we want them all over the place. Now I've got bits of snips of the, um, the Tilda fabrics that we've been using, which has actually got some adhesive on the back. So I can take those and add those in as well. So all those leftovers. Yeah that you end up with because you very rarely put a, a square of um, adhesive on and then cut a square out of it there's yeah. always a shape that you're cutting so there's always bits left over yeah so they can go in as well and you can get some quite nice kind of rounded and square and, and funny little shapes I'm just flipping these ones over because I know these ones have got adhesive already on the back so and we're just going to build this up with yeah. more and more shapes and colors and different bits and pieces so the multi mat's really handy well. for these projects as well. Yes, well this particular one, I'm making something that's more or less the size of the multi mat, but right. obviously you could go bigger and smaller. These are nice for uh, lit things like pencil cases or small bags, oh, yeah. and bits where you just want maybe a feature piece of fabric, because once you make this, you don't have to use it as a whole. No. You could then cut that out and applique it onto something else. It yeah. doesn't have to be one whole piece. So I'm going to add some of this as well. There's some pieces. That, chuck them in. I trust you. Just chuck them in. Chuck them in. Chuck them in. Mm. <laughs> Except I can't reach. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm That's quite right. far away, aren't I? That's all right. I can chuck them in this size. All right. I'm going to add this one in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're having a lovely time to us. Yes. Isn't? I'm going to put some of that darker pink in as well. Mm. That'll probably do. And then we've got some of the darker pink. Nice. Let's have that in. Okay. And oh, there's some more for you. Thank you. And there's some more for you. Thanks. I just and keep then there's snipping. Some more. Yeah, just keep How snipping. How much are we going to fill that? We're going to fill uh, quite a lot. We yeah. don't want to fill it kind of so completely that we can't still get some adhesion with the um, iron and the glue that's on the back there. But what we do want to do is make enough bits of interest in there that once we stick it together, you're going to have you know, interesting bits in all of the fabric. We don't want any, any boring patches. Right. That's what we're trying to avoid. No boring patches. Nobody wants a boring patch. No. <laughs> Let's do this then. <laughs> mm. When are you next in after this like, then, Hayley? Uh, well, tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, then Monday, I've got Fabric Freedom Show on Monday. Oh, have you? And then I don't know. And then you don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm in on the 14th. But I thought I was in on... Wednesday. I thought I was in on Wednesday last week. Oh. Is that Wednesday next week? Not Wednesday. It's Valentine's Day is Friday. Okay. Is that... Oh, yeah. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh. So, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody's trying to plan to get... <laughs> somebody's planning things, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Hmm. Oh, you mean for when you get home? No, oh. uh, that I'm not there in the first place. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Get rid my, of Hayley. My other half works here. Yeah. And uh, I think he's just uh, got rid of me there for the day. <laughs> you might get home and there'll be a lovely surprise. I, I, he's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, so I'm a bit gutted okay. because that's the day I'm travelling back up here. Uh. So, <laughs> all right. Up. Okay, Charlotte. God, I say she keeps going, I'm in Rome. She's going oh. to Rome. This is very nice, though. That is for, nice. Are you going to Rome for Valentine's Day or is that just a happy coincidence? Uh. Okay. <laughs> are you going with your other half, Charlotte? Oh, that's oh, still so think? romantic. <laughs> she says, <laughs> not the scenery, no, nothing like that. She just can't wait to eat pasta. You know it's got to be pretty here. good. <laughs> no, but it's got to be pretty good in Italy. Yeah, that's hasn't right. It? That's where it comes from. Absolutely, this is it's true. It's got to be pretty good there. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> yeah. Have you not had, did you not have something in the break? Oh, just a little snacket, so I'll have oh, something when I get okay. back. That's fine then. 
<laughs> Sorry, we digress. I know. Well, it's one of these uh, kind of projects where y it yeah, doesn't I mean, take uh, your full concentration, no. does it? And you're just kind of playing and you're adding bits and yeah. you're kind of using that mixed media element to things. And I'm putting a bit of green in there now because I think it goes quite nicely with okay. the pink. You and going you're just anywhere building nice, it up. Uh, not not soon. Uh, I'm going to Birmingham for the trade <laughs> show, but uh, that's about it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> not that Birmingham isn't nice, but it's not tropical. No. Let's just say I'm that. I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. Are you? Yes. What's in Birmingham? Um, no, oh, well, no, because I'm going to see my mum as well. Oh, your mum's in Birmingham. Yeah. Well, just outside. Okay, that's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> We're just having a nice little natter. I know. Sorry. <laughs> We're going Possibly to should be doing stuff, shouldn't well. we? <laughs> we are doing stuff. We're building this up. We are. Uh, we just want layer upon layer upon layer. Yeah. And just keeping enough gaps so that when we yeah. put that organza over the top it's going to stick in little places very nice that's all we need it to do yeah. and then we can kind of create something something a little bit different so i'm going nice. to put a bit more of this one in because i've got this darker pink in you, yet if you if you want to move any of the bits no then do, cause I can't. oh you're fussy cutting some flowers yes very that's nice. okay yeah good i'm happy with that yeah and then mm -hmm. we'll just add a bit of this as well and we're yeah. just going to what we'll do is we'll probably um build this up a little bit yeah we'll stick it down tomorrow okay because then we can make something else out of it and i can show you about using this as a, a kind of second or third generation piece where we can cut this out into oh, an appliqué nice. shape yeah and then kind of go from there because appliqué doesn't just need to be uh flat fabric you can kind of create your own fabric but you will need to put that um, organza layer over the top yeah. to obviously hold all this in place because if this was going to hold in all by itself it would be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a miracle. It would be a miracle. Yeah. The bits I'm putting on, these um, blue-ish kind of turquoise bits, these have got a little bit of adhesive on the back so I'm adding these in as well and some of them I'm kind of purposefully placing across other bits to allow me to kind of hold them in with an extra layer of adhesion on top of what's already there. All right, I've got to go and do some numbers now. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh right, I'll best do some work. Um, right, we've got the Tilda fabric. That was a bit like Eeyore from there. Uh, <laughs> Eeyore, thanks. <laughs> from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, right, so you have got 10 pieces of your fat quarters and I'm just realising that I do believe my talk back may have gone because I can't hear a single person. So, but I can, I can fill. Thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. Uh, three six five zero four seven. Ah, oh, marvellous! Oh, bless! Haley's just given me hers. Right, Sharing is caring. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing is caring. Um, so we have got the Lazy Days 100% cotton, 10-piece fat quarter bundle, trickle and solid. It's called trickle. That's interesting. It's a different thing, different way to call it. And then um, we've also got the five-piece. Oh, this is really pretty. It's got all the turquoise, a little bit of corals in there and greens. This is £18.99. 208669 is your item number. Now, the one-day special, you've got options, but I love the fact that you are effectively not paying for this wonderful iron. Um, the iron, as Hayley said, doesn't release any steam, which is perfect, and obviously you've got your heat setting there, and also it folds down, that bit folds down, I've got to remember, there you go, like that, so there's a little, there's a little button there, there we go, and then that's, that clicks back up. Now, you've got choices with the boards, this one is the floral, and if you open it, oh yes, this is the one that Hayley was using. She's already put some of the, I'm not going to lose the bit, sorry. I'll open it this way. So you've even got in there, nice little self-healing mat. And I like that the gold on it is a bit metallic. I know that's not important, but I like it, <laughs> right? And then you've got that suede effect sheet there. And then as we turn over, there we go. You've got that, like we said, it's almost like a sandpaper, it isn't, but it'll keep your fabrics safe and in place. Now, a third of the stock of this one has gone. It's called the floral, even though it's kind of got houses on it. Then you've also got the um, gr grey spot, couldn't think of that. Um, we've, so we've got that one. And then our 
lovely owls hoot hoot I do like this one it's really nice and then last but not least you've got the blue spot but that does have I see what Hayley means it does have like um it's more of a, a, a like a cat canvas yeah type of fabric yeah canvas weight one she's that's saying if you're looking for a hard wearing one that's the one to go for did you just stick your tongue out then <laughs> <Yeah>. that's fine <laughs> right <laughs> for each option of the boards and then of course you also get your iron you've got a massive 20 pound saving isn't that good Okay, so we're popping the iron at the bottom of the screen just to show you that the iron on, its, uh, on itself, iron on its own is 19.99. So basically, we're giving you a penny and the iron in this deal. Isn't that good? Look at that. 829656 is your item number. Lots more on the website. We've got some templates, some uh, basting glues. Look, there are the templates. You've got the um, template set in squares, you've got diamonds, hexagons. There is the rotary cutter, there is the dolls, dolls ironing board. I'm only joking, it's not, it's not. It's a mini pressing board. <laughs> oh, Hayley's shaking her head at me, I'm being naughty. Um, you've also got the quilted ironing mat, that's there. And loads and loads of lovely little bundles of um, fat quarters, but very pretty indeed. Nice tilde fabrics that you've got. There we I'm go. I'm just sneaking a bit out of this tilde fabric to add into oh, this. I thought you were uh, this cutting mix. your own jumper. No, I've done that before. <laughs> Do you know what I've done before? Wow. Is I was hand stitching something, it and I had pajamas on when I was doing it, and I I got so far through and realised I'd stitched it to my pajamas. That's so funny. And then I'd done kind of so much that I thought oh, I'm just going to cut all my pajamas. <laughs> that well it was i'm not unpicking this yeah I, I would probably do the same yeah i'm not unpicking this do you still have said pajamas with a hole in it i uh, know it was a while ago oh okay fine i do not uh do i i'll go and look for them you know that would be funny i am going to go and look for them that would be good <laughs> i've got I had new christmas pajamas on last night ah did you yes is it a christmas they were christmas style? themed no, they weren't. no okay. they were uh, they were just normal pajamas but they were for christmas therefore they are my christmas pajamas I saw when I was, you know, doing some. Uh, sorry, we were talking about Christmas. We just suddenly got to. But I saw um, uh, some really wonderful. Well, I thought they were wonderful bed sheets that had elves' bodies on. Oh, and then, I've seen. Yeah, them. and I was so <laughs> tempted to get them because my other half would hate it. <laughs> just to annoy you. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're nearly there with this. Well, I'm good. just putting a, a few more bits in. But what we'll do is we'll um, we'll build this up. It's really simple from here on in. It's just a case of organza over the top. I'm not going to lay it right on because what it will do is it will kind of um, there's a certain amount of static there which will yeah. pull bits off. So that goes over the top. Nice. And then we iron them on top of each other. So I need to drop the temperature on the iron for that. Right. And it's been on quite high for okay. a little while. So we'll finish this one off tomorrow. Okay. But what we'll do is we'll look at a couple of other things you can do. Yes, so please. one of the other options you've got, that's just yeah, that's the right. other thing. We can just kind of lift it up. Yeah, it's good. So if you're working on a project like that, the board is not so big that you can't just move it out the way and, and crack on with something else. So yeah. that one we're still working on as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to work on these throughout the hours. Now, colouring. I wondered what that was behind so, you. Have you oh, Ben, um, I've covered me other mat in stuff. Have you got a spare mat? Just take one from the one day special. <laughs> yeah, that one. That'll do. <laughs> the owl. Oh. <laughs> oh, go on, the blue spotty one. Go on then. Owl. Oh, no. no, floral. Oh, floral's got stuff in. No, floral. give us the owl. That was good. The floral's got stuff in, which I need for later. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to use it folded over. Okay. I'm going to use it in the, the smaller bit, because I've only got small um, oh, areas like to do that. on this. So this is one of the <clears throat> Selena Fennec panels. Um, we very quickly yeah. added them onto the end of the show, because oh. we were going to do kind of little demonstrations with them. And um, this is her fairy dragon oh. panel. And we've done a lot of different things in here, yeah. all of which um, involve the pens, mm. which you need to heat set with a dry heat. Right. So therefore, these are great for the iron as well. So I think, ah. Oh, sparkle <gasps> pens. Do you want to do colouring? Yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, hang on, there's some more here. That oh, means, do I need a mask? Across the box. 
Ben, may well, I have another gonna... mask? <laughs> It'll, well, you need this, she'll have to have the spotty one. The other one's full of bits. Uh, um, can I have a fantasy one? Yeah, they're all fantasy oh, ones. Oh, are they? Yeah, can yeah, I yeah, look yeah, fancy yeah. which one I want? Uh, I think that one's a blank one. Oh, that one's just been started. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to say, let's have Oops. a little look on the website. Hey, so we can see, we can have a little look. Oh, thanking you, Ben. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so when did you bring these? Uh, these were, uh, oh, I think it was just before Christmas. Really? We originally had these on. She's ooh. a fantastic Australian artist. Yeah. And if you look on her website, she's got these images all coloured in. Mm. And especially the Ravenkin one really? is absolutely amazing. Oh, she's divine. got some phenomenal artwork. Uh, we've done them as kind of canvas size pieces so right. we've done them so they're big enough to be on a, a cushion they're big enough to be on a bag or something yeah. like that so they're big enough to be statement pieces but they're also got big enough areas that you can decorate and so nice. so the zebra pens you get as a pair to get the two packs together right you've got the uh, glitter ones mm -hmm. and you've got the fashion colors which are the really bright ones as well so you get both of those together mm. you don't have to choose nice. and and these are the ones that you need to heat set okay so I shall give you whichever ones you want oh. and I'm going to do a little bit more on here now okay. they blend really really well so if I get one of the pinks in Oh, numbers. Um, <laughs> 14 pounds. So I was just like, I'm going to This is what color. happens. You give them pens to play with, they get completely distracted <laughs> and forget to presenters. do jobs. <laughs> if you'd like these pens, I can't, wait to, um, I can't wait to play with these. If you like these pens, do you get both, do we? Amazing. Um, 14 99 uh, Item number is 015478. Lovely. Okay, so these are quite good for blending as well. They are a little kind of uh, rollerball pen. Ooh. I was just testing to so, yeah. see if I liked the colour. Okay. For well, this, because it's already been started with the head. Yes, with kind of blues and things. Are you going to blue it up? There's lots of blues and greens in there yeah. as well. And they blend really well. So okay. if I start down here, and, and then just it put might a little purple. bit of pink on, yeah. and then use the silver, any of the glitters are your probably best bet for blending. Oh. And then you keep putting a little of one over, then a little of the other over, and then just gradually you'll get them to blend from one to the other. And that's quite Isn't a kind of nice? a dramatic colour change there. You've gone from silver to a bright, bright pink. Yes. But oh, they, I like that. they do work really, really well to, to blend into one another. And because you've, you've got a nice kind of rollerball tip, you've got really, really good accuracy. I mean, these are big panels. Yeah. Um, and my last set have now officially run out. Right. But I did leave them in the office. Okay. With <laughs> about six people colouring things in. Yeah. Um, did you? And yeah, did they you? ran out at that point because they'd coloured just everything. <laughs> they coloured everything in. But I did have to thank them because I um, I was running a bit short on oh, samples that nice. day. And then the, the whole team just stepped up and joined, uh, in. joined in. That's cool. Yeah, like it. it was good. I think uh, Holly, did you do one? It oh. was the best one. Shall I find it? So when was this? Was this? Um, hang on, let me just find it. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm not modesty. Gonna... Just find the best one. Uh, it will probably be mine. She says. <laughs> hang on, that's uh, that's not hers. Oh, I think it. Mm. <laughs> I wish you could hear what they're saying. It's so funny. This oh, is a man. little chatter. You're right down no, there. No, right. Hang on. Um, well, the, it's, um, the only reason I hadn't brought them up is because they're the, the different set ah. to the ones that we've got. Because these were her kind of inspirational ones. Ah. So we had things like uh, Dream Big. That one wasn't yours, was it? No. Ah. Uh, I, d I don't know which one's yours. Uh, that one's not yours. That one I did. Uh, that one's Webster's. Oh, it'll be this one. That one's Webster's. I like that. It wasn't this one. Webster oh. did one. Yeah. Webster he was actually well into did it. one. Yeah. Wow. Is this one yours? Yay. Oh, you see, it is, it is good. It but is good. I'm just showing you how much pen's been used as well. Yeah. Because all of these wow. have been coloured in. <laughs> That's amazing. With one set of pens. <laughs> so there's about, uh, I'll fix that, Ben, don't worry. What's he do, what, what? The mess that oh, I've the made. Mess. Okay. He says he's used so. to it. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to make me pick them all up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to make me pick them all up at the end. Uh, but we digress. We are colouring because um, these particular pens are um, 
fabric pens which are designed to be heat set. Right. So I'm just going to get this one area that I'm working on now coloured in and then I will set them with the iron that comes with the one day special. Yay. There you go. See, we're back. We're back. Back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Actually, I'm going to put this on a flat. Um, where's that nice flat surface? This, this one. Because what you will find with this is, if it's on too soft a surface, it will uh, struggle. If yeah. it's on too hard a surface, it will struggle. The way we found it works best is just to double over the fabric, so uh, it's got something to push against. Oh, okay. But it isn't kind of um, pushing on anything too hard. Oh, but okay, something I'll do sturdy that. underneath. Yeah. But uh, just double the fabric over oh, that you're working okay. on, and you'll find it it rolls on much more easily. Oh, that's that's a good tip. And. If you set this, you'll be able to oh, go yeah, directly does. on top. So you see where we've got the blended bits there? So we've got the two bits on top of each other. Yeah. Now, there's another way you can do... We, there's another option for using those pens together. So rather than blending them in together, if I cover all of this top bit in the pink... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to fill in a couple of little white patches, I can see. Um, and I set it then I can use the pen to go over the top. Ah. So as long as I've set it, it will sit on top of the the, um, the previous colour. And that's even if it's a, a light colour like a silver on top of this quite deep pink. OK. So I'll just colour that in. I'm doing it as quickly as I can. And also, if you heat set this and then you decide, oh, actually, I want to go back and put a bit more in there, mm -hmm. you, you absolutely can. So let me just do that. And then we'll just heat set that with the iron. Right. Now, what I would advise, if you are going to uh, be using the iron for pens and other things, then just pop a, a little bit of... Um, this is a, just a, a craft paper that's got one side that's non-stick. Right. And that just helps anything, if the ink is still wet, from transferring. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move this along a little bit, Holly, because I, I obviously started over there and I've gradually mm -hmm. shuffled it off the edge of the table. <laughs> um, that's perfect. And just let that cool down for a second. And then I'll be able to go back in with the silver and go up. Your <laughs> this is what you do. You give presenters pens and then they're just off. She's off. I'm just, I'm just chatting to myself, unless anybody wants to tell me that they're there. But I'm here, I am here. <laughs> I'm here. So if I want to outline around the edge of these, okay, I don't know if you can see that, if I just tilt it up a bit, you see how it's sitting on the top now, rather than um, kind of merging in with it. So I'll outline all of these. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I will talk. I That's better okay. talk. Otherwise, we've got, we've got dead air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing stuff, though. I'm allowed. Yeah. So you see how now it's sitting on the top? And that's because you've set it, and it's not trying to blend with the existing inks. It's just trying to, ah. it's trying to sit on top of them. Yes. So you've got options with the pens. Now, these are the, um, the zebra pens, yep. and you're getting both sets together. You're getting the fashion colours, mm -hmm. which are um, all your kind of nice bright purples and pinks, and you're also getting your neon colours. Now, yeah. the neon colours, initially you think, oh, my gosh, Never going to use them. They're way too bright. Right. But those pinks up there are neon colours. And lovely. they blend so well. Yeah, they do. And they're nice, especially if you're going to use them with organza and use uh, techniques where they go over the top. Right. Because the organza dulls the colour down a little bit. It adds, obviously, a little bit of sparkle, but it also dulls that colour right down. So by using those neon colours... Mm, I like that. You've, you've kind of got more of that colour showing through, so they're a really good one for, for using with those things. Yeah. So, um, ooh, wow. have I got time to finish this other side? I've got five and a half minutes. Do you think you'll do it? No. Oh, OK. Um, <laughs> just this other bit. OK. <laughs> just saying, go on then, that's it. Go on then. Yeah. Um, so, great pens for blending but you do need to heat fix them and this is when the kind of the mat and the iron comes into its own because right. you do need a dry heat to fix these um, because if you use a steam iron what the because they are a water based pigment in the first place that steam effectively just dilutes and run makes the um, the ink run yeah. so that's exactly why you need that dry heat that dry iron to fix those pens right you're just saying right aren't you no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, I am paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love colouring. I, it, um, although having said that, the last couple of nights it's been really cool because I've been able to join in. So I'm joining in now, and I, yesterday I was um, doing the resin with what? What are you laughing at? Voices in my head. Because Ben just took your mat oh, off. Oh, he did. Here. Yeah. While we were out of shot, it's just like, oi. Do you want <laughs> this one as well, Ben? Well, it's just to show them okay. off. Okay. Should yeah. we do some work? Yeah, I suppose All right. so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Uh, oh. What? I just need to borrow it to heat oh, fix okay. this. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. No worries. Okay, I'll give you it back, I promise. Thanks. I'll give you it back, I promise. So when I'm heat fixing this, because I've got all ganza on here, I'm oh. just making sure that I don't catch it. Let me just turn it around so you can see. There you go. I'm just going up to, but not touching that organza because the if I touch that with the organza because that's quite set to quite a high heat yeah it's going to uh, melt the organza because okay. that needs to be on a much lower heat so does that mean we can wash our items now yes absolutely you can yeah. you can wash those I'm just going to let that cool down I'm going to put the uh, silver over the top to match the other side yeah and then we're done for oh, today okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want me to go through the one day yeah, special do, while this cools down okay I'll give you this and you can do those. I'll put the silver on, okay. and then we'll all go home. <laughs> yes, yeah. we will. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right. Here, the owl is still... That's not switched on, that one. You're That's all right. That's fine. The owl <laughs> is still in the lead. So don't forget, when you open it up, you've got that self-healing mat. You've got that suede effect side. What did you say the suede effect side was good for? So that one's good for... It's, it's not as non-slip as the sandpaper side, but it's a really good kind of in between okay to be able to lay out um things like if you've got lots of pieces where you've sewn them together and you're just kind of wanting to to lay them out and make sure you've got them in the right order before you go ahead and sew the next bit together right. the sandpaper side is quite good for yeah. marking out things so if you've got things like a, a template on a fabric and you don't want the fabric to slip underneath then that's a great way to do it right lovely it's good that so this is your owl there we go, and then you can choose your, he's still in the lead, you can choose your floral. Oh, this is second, is it? Second oh, place. Oh, grey spot is my favourite one. Then we've got the grey spot, third. third place. And poor blue, somebody needs to get the blue, because it is, has got well, she, a really good Yeah, the blue one canvas. has got the really kind of tough hard wearing canvas so if you're doing the the kind of mixed media things with the irons and yeah. that's the one I would recommend that you yeah. go for and also the guys who do encaustic art oh yeah you could absolutely do that with this type of iron ah. as well because it's a dry heat there's no holes in there okay so you can use it for your encaustic maybe you weren't thinking about using it for your um mm. uh, your sewing and you wanted to do other things yeah with it. versatility exactly and I'm done you, you, you're yeah, out, you, I'm you're done now, building. thanks. Um, so, yeah, you get this iron, and it does, obviously, it's got your um, thingy. It's got the heat settings on the top there. Do you want I'll, to do I'll, it? I shall do it with you, because this, this one's not the hot one. No, Otherwise, fine. I wouldn't be holding it like no. that. Uh, but this one's got a, a little button on the back, and then you push that in, and the handle slides over. You can change yeah. the um, heat setting on the top there. Brilliant. So you just spin it round yeah. to select how hot you want it and um, away you go. It's got a nice kind of piece of protection on the cable there and the cable kind of sits in that gap. So if an iron's gonna go, it usually goes at this yeah. point here. So they've got protection on there. And then I would never recommend wrapping, everybody does it, they wrap it around the iron. Yeah. I don't recommend that you do that. I recommend that you kind of fold it back up in the kind of S shape that it came in. Yeah. Um, if you've got if you want to use a cable tie, or just a piece of old fabric just to tie around it. You're going to sneeze. Another one. You crack on. No, it's gone again. <laughs> yeah. if you just put, or even an old hair bobble or something, right. just round there. Your, your iron will last a lot longer That's good. storing it like that than it will wrapping it around. Nice. Good point. So for your one day special, pretty much you're not paying for this and we're giving you a penny back. So effectively, uh, that's madness. I know. Who worked that out? I don't know. You went right scouse then. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, whatever. Sorry. I'm where, not scouse. Where are you from? Just northern. Just, <laughs> just, just general sorry. northern. Right, I've now offended <laughs> all the north of I'm from near Newcastle. I would probably say Geordie. Geordie. That's what yes. I meant. Okay. I did mean that. Anyway... <laughs> I'll leave myself digging a hole. Sorry, all of the north of the UK, but please check out your one-day special. We're just all the same to her. Just northern. No, you're not. You're not. 
And coming up next, we've got John Next Door's monthly mega deal. And then you can see a repeat of this show 